I'm so nervous for this trip I could fucking gag and not because there's a dick in my mouth. It's just because like, I'm gonna be walking in Atlanta swim this week. I'm still trying to wrap my head. Like, there's a part of me that's like something's, I'm gonna get there and they're gonna go ha ha. Joke's on you. Um, but my bags are packed to drive to Atlanta tomorrow morning. And I didn't plan very well um, because I was kind of scared of Atlanta. And I didn't really want to stay very long in Atlanta. So I booked my spray tan for tomorrow at 6. I have a 10 and a half hour drive. I have to wake up at the butt fucking crack of dawn. So I need to try to go to bed. I'm going to put this stuff in the truck. And I might do a little bit of yoga, to be honest. And then take some valerian root and passion flower. And hope that that is enough to put my nerves to a level where I can fucking take a nap. But Because just packing was really stressful. I'm going to be honest. I brought two bras. I never wear a bra, but what if I need to wear a bra? Then I didn't know which bra to bring. It was, Lord help me. Oh, 3.55. I got castor oil in my hair. I'm not washing it out until tomorrow morning. I need to get the fuck up. I need to start brushing my teeth and getting it. I have to pee, I'm gonna pee my pants, I gotta go. Navigate to Atlanta Marquee Hotel Midtown. All right, it's 4.15 and the hotel is 11 hours and five fucking minutes away from us. I have six hard boiled eggs and six pieces of bacon on ice. And my truck says it can go 527 miles. So let's see how far we get before we have to fucking stop because I got water. I peed. I'm not mentally prepared. I used to do this all the fucking time. For a boy. At least I'm doing this for hot girls. And myself. I'll check in. In a little bit. So it's like 7.20. I've been driving for I don't know how many hours that is. So far this morning, I locked eyes with an owl through my windshield. And it was very scary because like, that motherfucker was as big as my windshield it looked like. And he was right in front of it, but suddenly made a little swoop up. Also a coyote, something ran across the freeway. I don't know, but I need the animals to stop trying to die. And the people in Little Rock to not drive like douchebags. To whoever I had a Mexican roadblock and teach a lesson, I hope you learned that lesson. In half a mile, continue straight. Oh my goodness. We made it to somewhere. I don't even know where we are. We have 184 more miles to we're there. Just under three hours. And I'm gonna pee my pants. It's like 11.38. And I don't even know if I'm pointing the camera at myself. <laughs> but there's loves with McDonald's. So. Turn left. I can eat and food, pee, and right. get diesel. Because it literally, I have no, I should have turned right there. This place turn is right. busier than fuck. Shit. Stop. I don't Current like left. my GPS telling me what to do right now. Let's see. Do they all have diesel? No, that one is out of diesel. We're going right here. I really don't want to get back in the truck. And I normally would just eat while driving. But I really don't want to get back in the truck. And I'm going to sit my ass here in the grass in the sun. Because the sun feels really nice. I'd eat this really horrible food for me. I don't care though. Listen, I got 45 more miles, and I've been stuck in the stupidest traffic of my fucking life. Police reported ahead. And so if anyone's wondering why I drove over fly, I'm also wondering that too. Because when I was planning out this trip, it was around the time the hurricanes were happening, and people were talking about like oh, rental cars, and my brain started thinking about how I'm like, getting close to the election, and like, I should bring my own truck in case something bad happens national, and I just need to be able to leave immediately. But right now, my ass hurts, and I hate myself. We're just fucking trugging along. Am I Check in, be right here, but we're valet only. Uh, that's fine. Okay. What, what does that mean? So it'll be, it might be 60 or $65 a night with the hotel valet. I can do it to my hotel room though, right? Huh? I can just do it to my hotel room? Go okay, hotel. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Just pull over. Oh my God, I'm gonna hit someone. Oh my God. Uh, I have to, or I'm, I've been driving literally for 10 hours straight, so I just have to like, figure out how to stand first. Definitely will have luggage. <laughs> that was somewhat 
overwhelming. Someone has my bags. And now I'm checking in. But I'm standing and I'm not sitting, which is nice. So there's that. So you can use this one every time. So I always. And uh, your card, and I'm gonna have you use I gotta hit the floor first. No, you wanna scan your card first, see the green light. So, what brings you? I'm gonna be doing the Atlanta Swim Week. So, I'm abs I, I'm not a model. I just signed up for it to do it. Well, you should be. Experience. I think you should be. <laughs> so, that's what I, I'm here for. What do I have to, I don't have too much free time, but what do I, should I do in my little bit of free time? Oh, so when you say little bit of free time. Tomorrow during the daytime. So we've got the the aquarium that's all within walking distance. Excuse me, okay. that's a neat one to see. Coca-Cola. We made it. Got the bags brought up too. And Daryl, he's getting my first batch of ice. <laughs> I just took a quick shower. I put on the same clothes because I realized that I didn't bring any clothes that I wanted to get fucked up from spray tanning. Even though I made a point to mention it to my best friend, I still didn't bring those clothes. So I figured that this outfit was the one that I cared the least about out of all of them. It's already dirty, really. It's just a little different. So go ahead and subscribe. Listen, I'm really sad I'm only on the second floor because my key card only gets me to the second floor, but I really want to figure out who I can ask. I really want to ride it all the way up and figure out who is going to let me do that. Okay, so I'm just waiting for my truck so we can go get a spray tan because I booked it like 30 minutes away from the hotel because Google Maps says it's six minutes, but they gave me an actual address and they said the address that I booked was not correct. So we're going to go try driving in Atlanta some more and not die. Um, we made it. And I'm really glad that they have a fucking parking lot because after that drive, um, I, my, I'm like, I'm sh I, I, I had to pretend it was a video game. I had to pretend it was a video game to like survive it. Um, but he, we're here. I gotta go in there and get spray tan. Like, can someone just explain to me this intersection? Like, it's so fucking com like, who designed big cities? I just want to explain. <laughs> this isn't real fucking life. This is not real life, right? Okay. Listen, I give the fuck up. I don't know what to do. I... Hold on, let me close my door. I put in the hotel on my GPS, and it brought me to the side of the hotel that has the employee entrance. And so then I drove off, and it took me 30 minutes somehow to get back to this hotel. And I'm on the same fucking side of the fucking street. And I don't... I, what? I don't know how to get to the other side of the hotel with my vehicle. I'm just gonna go ask these people over here. I'm turning my light off so it's not so inconspicuous. Hold on, let me grab my stuff so no one steals my truck. Can somebody please give me some directions in life? Where are you going, baby? I'm trying to get to the valet parking lot of this hotel. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I literally came here and then I'm wandered for 30 minutes and it got me back to this side. So what you got to do is that light right there, make a right turn just like that coffin to do. When you make that right, go to the very next light, make another right, and make another right right here and come on this back road, come past the back of the building and come up on the other side. Okay, what's this, that street called? That is Or Piedmont. Portland. When I turn right on, it's going to be... That's going to be... Where is your car? Right there. Right, right, right here. I just... I just, just can't get my figure out. I'm telling straight. you what to do. Listen to what I'm telling yeah, you. Right, Make a right, right, right. Past this right, street. Past this block and then, you're on. And then go to the next yeah, block, and make a right, and then make you another right and come into Valley. All right. I don't know why the GPS would bring me to this side. Oh, well, you use the horseshoe. That's about like they can't go that way. That's a one way. I'm saying all you gotta do is go to the next light, make that left, make that left at that light, then make a left right here. Right back in. Right. Yeah, you can do that too. Okay, I'll just do the. I'll go to the right. So it was the first one I got. No, right, no, right, no, right, no. right, right, right. Because you, you can go up to that second red light, make a left. To the next second light. red light, not the first one, because you got to go up. The way it goes, she got to go. I know, but she can't come down on that side. I go to that light, right? When you come like a train station, if you walk down that hill, that's you gonna a one way street. You're going to make two left turns instead of the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go up there. Go to, to that, that red light. light. Up there. Well, make you a left. There. Make okay. a left. Okay. Then you gonna make get the, to the very next, next left. left. Okay. Yep. And then make, make another, another left. left. And you're okay. Don't go for this one. Not I literally was here 30 minutes ago, and it, I got back here. So, I, okay. We'll be right at the hotel. We're going to be coming just like that bus just 
Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh my god. My life. <laughs> I am such a fucking mess. Okay, let's see if we can. This has been like an hour long adventure to get fucking back to this fucking hotel. After today, I feel like I deserve. I deserve this room service. Like, this is the treat. <laughs> Shout out to the people that got me to the hotel room because fuck me. That was absolutely nerve wrecking. Um, also, there's a scratch on my truck and they told me to go talk to valet management. I'm just doing that tomorrow. I'm so fucking hungry. I'm just glad that I have made it back. Um, but I got me an expensive ass water. Whatever. I just hope I don't make them. Let me get a towel. Okay. I got me some braised short ribs and some mashed potatoes. Oh my god, I'm so ready to eat that. And then I got I got cookies also for afterwards. Because I'm kind of just oh, you look so yummy. Definitely worth the $60. Is this spinach? It's good though. Definitely please. I don't know. I'm also starving, so anything wouldn't taste good. But eating in my pajamas? Oh, I'm gonna pass the fuck out after today's drive. And I'm, I'm kind of nervous because I got a long day. I want to go do stuff tomorrow in the daytime and see at least like one thing or two. And then I have to get ready to go to the Palo Santo for a networking event. I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. Someone told me to go to the, some place called Pachelles or Pastels for some real southern home cooking. So I gotta see where that is and if I can put that in my itinerary for tomorrow. But they also suggested the Coca-Cola Museum. Maybe I'll do that too. I don't know. Maybe I'll just walk around and see what kind of adventures I can find, side quests. I definitely am not driving. Whatever that, I'm not driving anywhere until I leave. I'm not driving again. That is 100% sure. Five in the morning and I've been trying to fall back asleep for like an hour because my dumbass never turned off my alarm. Uh, I mean, can't fall back asleep. And I actually just realized that the only person, this is completely random, it has nothing to do with this adventure, but the only person that I relate to in the Bible is Lot's wife. Because she fucking looked back and was too attached on the things that were burning down. And she fucking got stuck there. And sometimes I don't know if I'm stuck looking back or if I'm moving forward. And I really hope I don't get cry lines in my tan. It's been all night. I could technically want, rinse this off. I really should because I think the smell is a part of the reason why I can't go back to sleep. It grosses me out. But also, I just want to go to sleep and wake up when the sun is out. Like a normal person on, on a trip. I don't want to wake up at 4 in the morning. I'm also wide awake now. Also, I really like having light city lights. And I don't need a nightlight in the actual room. Because those lights out there are my nightlight. I slept like a fucking baby, too. Good morning. I... It, it took me forever to fall back asleep, but I eventually fell back asleep just long enough to be extra tired when I woke up. Um, so I'm gonna put some socks on, maybe button this up a little bit, and I'm gonna walk down to Starbucks. And get, I don't drink coffee or caffeine very often. They're gonna give me a chai latte and some breakfast, and then come back up here and shower, because I've had castor oil in my hair for 36 hours. It better be so silky smooth today. Get ready to go explore the city. Oh my god. I didn't bring my camera. I, that There's some kind of conference. I was not mentally prepared for how long. How long did that take? It took like 30 minutes to get a Starbucks sandwich. And there were so many people. My drink came faster than my sandwich. Um, <laughs> double bacon. It, it's just two pieces of bacon. I feel like they used to put a lot more breakfast on that shit. It's like 9.30 and I'm dressed. Um, this is like the second trip that I forgot my toothbrush. So hopefully today we find a toothbrush. I also would like to find a mask and a robe. But a robe is pretty... But I'm really just about to just walk around Atlanta. I don't have any plan whatsoever. I mean, I know where some things in that direct... Like, I know what direction I think I'm headed. But... What kind of adventures we find? I, I'm not 100% sure. So, 
let's go. Atlanta has a really distinct smell. It smells like piss everywhere I go. It just, it just smells like a urinal. Atlanta is a big urinal. <laughs> to the folk art park and these are called the faces on the wall some man abs how does someone brain come up with this and that what the f there you got we got this looks like the guy from um what is it tv show the one where the guy holds his eyeballs in his hands 1995 and must learn a meaning of love Honestly, it's so much easier to make TikToks in public in places where you don't live. I gotta find water though. I'm getting hot as fuck. I really didn't expect it to be this hot at the end of October. Coca-Cola Museum or whatever factory. It looks really cool and I really want to go in, but honestly, it looks like something that I should bring a child with me. Um, and I'd like do that with her. Plus, I really want to go on the Ferris wheel. That's all the way over there, and I really need to find some water because I'm. It, what is the date today? 23rd of October, and I'm sweating balls in a whatever. My map's still on. I gotta. Uh, okay. Boom. Let's continue this conversation. What did you just ask me? <laughs> I asked if you were 25 or older. I'm definitely 25. Get, I'm. I'll be 37. What, uh, what, what skincare do you use? <laughs> What's your skincare routine? What um, I actually skincare? use beef tallow. Beef tallow? Yeah, I okay. slather beef tallow all over my body. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, no, for real. Okay, damn. Uh, don't, well, I, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, no, I don't use chemicals and okay. I slather beef. And I'm also half Filipino. Uh, so like okay. genetically, you got, you got my grandma's out. 101. Oh, yeah. You got you got the, the super long living genes. So you yeah, gotta... yeah, 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 no, but like eventually, like I'm gonna look really young, but then like one day I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be like, 90. Well, you know, I, I love that for you. But what, what are we, what can yes. I do for you today? We're with Children International. Uh -huh. Do you know about us? Marshall? Right. Cool. Mean, Children International. You're going to go on YouTube. This I is my YouTube. first YouTube vlog. Oh, shit, sure, okay. Well, you have to drop the channel afterwards. Okay. I'll follow. Uh, yeah, Children International. Okay. Uh -huh. You already know about us? Uh, about us? No. Nothing? Well, I you... mean, I sound like an international children's group. Pretty much, yeah. If I guess. <laughs> we're, we're a nonprofit, and we go all around the world to areas where kids don't have all the basic needs and then provide that for them to try to make sure every kid gets an opportunity. Okay. So if it was up to you, and you got to decide what every kid in the world had access to, I'm curious, what do you think are the most important things that every kid needs? Oh, God. Like... You can start with the basics if you don't... Oh, God, I was trying to go, like... I was so trying like, to give them something really good. Yeah, like an engineering program. <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, I was thinking more along the lines of just, like, teaching kids about emotions. Like, okay, yeah. like under emotional intelligence. Me mental health care. Yes, so, exactly. Right. Putting... Completely. Putting... Right. Being able to understand your and feel your feelings. Any other, any other things? Or I mean, like, everything. I want to give them all the things. Well, let me let me list off some of the things that we do and see if it's stuff okay. that you would expect. Okay. Right? So obviously the basics: food, shelter, water. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure all that's taken care of. We also do education. Really big uh, emphasis on making sure they can learn. Healthcare, you know, so taking care of all the medical needs and even sanitation. So like soaps, hygiene products, stuff like that. Right? Okay. Um, what's cool about us? Not only do we provide that for the kids, also their families too. A lot of times, you know. Can saw. What brings you to Atlanta? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm doing the Atlanta Swim Week show. You're a swimmer? No, I. I don't. I'm not even really a model. I. I decided to start like doing scary things. So I saw this ad for a runway show like earlier this summer, and I was like, that sounds terrifying. Let me do it. And I met some cool people, and they made me delusional that maybe I could just like, do it. They were good people. And so now I am going to walk with supermodels in the Atlanta Swim. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But right now I'm just pretending I'm not scared as fuck. Never heard of care before? No, I, I just adopted a child, though. Get out of town. Like, literally physically No, like, uh, like, on the other side of the park, I adopted a child. No, no, no. Some, the children's org or something. Like today? Yeah, yeah. Like, literally uh, just now. Yeah. And you know, uh, a lot of people that do uh, care, especially about care, we are also, uh, obviously, we're helping the fire out of the world. 
Yeah. We're also first responders for all the like hurricane okay. victims. And so we just secured a government grant. They're doing like a 10 times match for all of our in-person okay. donations today. So if you had a little bit of extra roll in the budget, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. a small one today. Yeah, I could do a They'll small 10 one. Times match. Yeah, I'll show you, friend. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, what did you used to do back in Arkansas? What do I, I don't do anything. I mean, Stay I don't know. Home no, I. No kids. I, I do have a kid. No, I only no. have her every other week, though. I'm a single mom. Uh, hey, no I do TikTok way. and OnlyFans. No way. So this is OnlyFans. Don't tell the kids about oh, the, where the money comes from. You find a pretty lucrative. <laughs> so you can easily spend two hundred and fifty dollars um, in Centennial Park by all the charities. They're really nice people, though, and I made some TikToks with them, and uh, it was really cool talking to some people. But now I'm gonna go check out Ferris wheel. I think that is what I want to do next. I don't know what street to cross first. I don't see cars. I'm just gonna go. Hope I don't get run over. Also, I lost my water. My expensive three dollar water. Oh, it really smells like piss over here. Holy fuck, this is scary. I don't like it actually. scary like. ah! so it's like noon and I've been walking around Centennial Park learning about the Olympics I rode the Ferris wheel figure out what I want to do for lunch I also lost my vape pen and I'm trying to figure out if maybe I left it at one of the charity places I'm gonna go over there I think and figure out if they found it. Maybe I'll go back to the hotel and see, because someone suggested that maybe I can get a row from the hotel. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, see if they can sell me a row, and then figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch. I really wanna smoke before I eat, because I have zero appetite, and I don't know where my vape pen went. I found, I found my vape pen, um, and now I'm just waiting for an Uber to take me to this restaurant pick up in two minutes. It's a black GMC. Oh my god, my truck is picking me up. Let's see. 0.5 miles away. I think they're picking me up right in front of the World of Coke building, but I'm not sure. A sweet tea and water, and then I was gonna try the fried chicken. I'll do a two piece dark meat. What are your favorites? All right, I've never tried collard greens, so I'll try them, and then I'll do the mac and cheese also. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, please. Oh, and it just leaves. Yeah, he's gonna go back to his little resting spot. I seriously was not ready for that one to come. This is really good. I have never had collard greens before, and it's not like what I ever expected. I don't know what that flavor is, but I really like it. And I probably shouldn't be eating this before I walk around the but I was told this was a place to try some southern comfort food. We all know after this year, I could use all the comfort I can get. <laughs> I'm literally so full after that. Um, and I met some really cool ladies, and. They were really sweet and like hyped me up. It made me feel all kinds of confident and stuff. Um, but yeah, now I'm waiting for the Uber so I can go take a nap because fuck. And I got peach cobbler. Go. So I can eat that after my nap. I'm kind of getting really nervous about tonight though. Random people are easy to talk to. I don't know why these people at this event are so scary to talk to. I'm, okay, this is a really random question, but I know I'm not in a suite. Do you have robes that you could buy? Robes? Yeah, like you know how like some hotels you get like a robe? Like you don't have one I can buy. I don't know where my key card is. I need it for the elevator. Um, but I asked the front desk about a robe and they don't have robes for... I don't know if that means they have no robes, which... Do you only get them at five star? Can you not get them at four star? But anyways, I'm gonna see if DoorDash can get me a room. I really should have asked him how I can ride all of these too. God damn it. I woke up from a nap. It's like 4.30. I'm, I didn't wanna wake up from a nap, let me tell you. 
Oh, uh, but we're gonna try this peach and then start getting ready. I door dashed a row from Victoria's Secrets for tomorrow. Didn't find a mask, but I really, my face is scary enough. It smells really yummy. Mm. Mm. <gasps> mm. Gonna make me wanna go back to bed. I'm so lucky. I probably shouldn't eat all of this because I really will go back to bed. Thank you. Thank you. Georgia, your peaches. They're so yummy. I don't want to wake up. Maybe I make a cup of coffee. That well, don't sound very yummy. Okay, I'm pretty much ready. Um, I The event from, is from 7 to midnight. I think I'm going to call the Uber at 7. I don't want to be... Like, I feel like... I don't know. I just really need to be there. I just need to go and so I can tell people that I did it and I overcame my fears and I went to this. Also, my hotel room is becoming a goddamn disaster. Um, I don't know if it's better to show up early and leave early or show up later and leave later. I feel like it'll be quieter and my, like, overstimulation will be less earlier in the night. And then I could come back and order like a grilled cheese sandwich or something in bed. But this is my dress. It's really hard to figure out how to show you my outfits with this camera. Yeah, that's horrible lighting. Okay, I'm getting ready to go head down there. I might try to refilm one of my TikToks before I call an Uber somewhere. But I'm like hyperventilating. I feel sick to my stomach. Okay, I'm in the Uber and I'm getting even more nervous. But I did have an actual like model invite me to go to a haunted house tonight. So maybe I'll do that because the like the hurt little inner child in me is super excited that like popular people actually would hang out with me. Um, but no, I'm gonna try to not throw up. I think this poor Uber driver probably does not want me to throw up in his, in his, in his vehicle, so wish me luck. This man said to go in the back left and I feel like I'm going into an alley, like where am I going? I'm very confused. Okay, so I got here and I went in and apparently there was a little mix up at the time, so they're like still setting up. And they asked me if I wanted a drink and I had a panic attack and I said no, I want to go sit outside and vape. <laughs> I'm a mess. I sh maybe should have waited a little bit longer. Maybe I should have came later. I don't know. They actually like socializing and talking to people. I just got back from I'm really glad I didn't turn around when I was standing in the parking lot and even though I was the very first person there and I was so awkward I met a music producer he was told me that I will never be paying to be in a show again and I will be paid to be in next year's show um I gonna have I met I'm gonna do an interview tomorrow while we're getting ready with a magazine. I met some videographer. Everyone told me I belonged. Everyone told me that I belonged. I had two drinks too and no food. I ordered a grilled cheese. More cookies. It was so fucking... I don't know how this is my life sometimes. I need to eat this food and get all this makeup off my face. I go to sleep. Cause tomorrow, I'm gonna walk in Atlanta swim week. I don't know how this is my life. I'm really grateful. An hour and a half since I ordered my grilled cheese and I'm so tired. It still hasn't come and I called like, I called like 20 minutes ago and they still only five to 10 minutes. So I'm eating my cold leftovers right now. Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness, it finally came. I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. Okay. Also, why would you put a refrigerator in a hotel room and 
No microwave. Unless I just can't see the microwave because I don't have glasses on. I hope this is all they charge me for. I'm gonna be really sad if they charge me for the cookies and the $7 water that I ordered. I didn't get. Oh, but that's fucking good. What is that? Like barbecue sauce and bacon in my grilled cheese? I wasn't expecting that. Alright, I'm gonna eat and go fucking sleep. It is the day of the show. And honestly, after I think last night was the scariest part. I feel like now I'm just excited. I'm also completely off top. My boobies are sore as fuck. Don't, don't know why. But I have like four hours, so I have to be at hair and makeup. I think I'm gonna wear the outfit that I'm gonna drive in tomorrow. So I don't have any, because it's really stretchy. So I don't have any lines on me for the show and because it's been so hot i don't think i want to wear the cute little outfit with the sweater that i brought because i don't want to sweat i think i'm gonna bring this little romper and heels i guess i just bring two bags i thought about driving my truck but i don't want to drive at night back to this hotel so i'm just gonna uber there i need to get ready and then get some food in me since they probably won't feed me and I won't eat until after the show. I might grab like a protein bar or something from the Starbucks or also, I also am dehydrated. I need to drink a lot of water today. Hopefully I don't pee myself on stage. And then I gotta drive home tomorrow? That sounds horrible. Okay, I'm dressed, I'm showered, I'm lotioned up. I'm trying to depuff my face. I'm starving though. So I need to go down to Starbucks. And it's 8.30, so I'm hoping all the adulting adults are not in and doesn't take me in a half an hour like it did yesterday. Um, because yesterday, it took a really long fucking time. I'm going with eye masks. Also, my hotel room is a goddamn disaster. But I have been, hold on, let me show you. I don't know if you can tell. I feel just perfect today. Like my body, fucking hot as fuck. I feel hot today, which is a good thing because we're, we're, we're doing it. We're doing the things. <laughs> okay, I need food. It's just about 11 and I need to be there in an hour. So I'm gonna go run and grab a water down in the lobby and maybe like a little snack and then go get an Uber over there. I have everything, I think. Okay, let's I almost forgot my bathing suit to be honest. <laughs> I'm here like 45 minutes early. And honestly, there was no sign on the front, so I'm hoping this is it. <laughs> we know which way it is. All right. This is an interesting place. <laughs> this is an absolute fucking disaster. So apparently, because I'm walking for Breezy, there's no road. There's no guarantee I'm getting my hair and makeup done. Uh, yeah, it's just... We don't, I don't, it's just ridiculous. And I paid money to be here, so I feel like crying. Okay, update, I got my hair done. I like to shout out to the uh, actual Atlanta Swim Week staff. Like they've been really great with all of this chaoticness. Um, I have a ticket to get my number. I think there's no more robes, but I did get a shirt, so. I did get a, I did get a t-shirt, but no robe. That's fine. And I'm trying to decide if I'm wearing the little boots that I brought because I didn't bring the other heels because I thought there was going to be shoes involved or if I'm walking barefoot, which I probably should just walk barefoot because I don't know how to walk in heels. So, that's the update. I got my hair done and my makeup done. Craziness is going on. sitting on the floor. Like I think the show just started, but we're like the third to last designer. So we could probably, it's like eight o'clock, 9, 30, 10, I think is what, we could take a nap. It's 9, 36, and they're just in the halftime intermission show. And I'm starting to get really sleepy, like really sleepy.
the runway twice. I, I definitely made a oof face. It was fun though. My feet really hurt. I'm gonna wear these. Ugh. I need to take my makeup off. My eyelashes are already off. I ordered some tacos, birria tacos, because room service wouldn't pick up. Um, but no, today, it, oh my goodness, okay, there's, let, let's just debrief, because I haven't, I have, I don't think I've turned on my, I, I almost fell off the stage twice, it felt like. Um, the last carousel, like, when we all walked out together, I was definitely staring at the ground the whole time, because, like, the stage was only this wide, and we were, like, walking, I didn't like walking next to each other, and all I could imagine was me falling off the stage. Um. No, I mean, I saw some of my pictures from one photo- like, I, 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 there's some pretty decent pictures out of it. Um, I just- I need to find someone who has the video. I really hope I can find the video footage. But yeah. Um, am I ready for my food? And take this makeup off. And tomorrow's gonna fucking suck. I don't even know what time I'm deciding. I'm just gonna see how I feel in the morning and go from there. I'm not even tired right now after all of that. I mean, I guess I kind of am. I'm more fucking hungry than anything. Do you guys like my makeup? Okay. We're on a little bit of a struggle bus. I don't really want to get moving. My ankle hurts really bad. I don't know. It's been hurting. And I have blisters on my feet. I don't want to pack my bags. <clears throat> but I need to pack them and go get breakfast. And then call the bellhop get my bags. I don't know where my ballet ticket is. Hold on. I think I lost. Yeah, I think my ballet ticket is lost again. And that means I have to go down to the thingy and get a new one. Okay. I'm probably not going to update you till I'm home because I'm, I'm just mentally exhausted at this point and overstimulated. I need to unstimulate myself, wash my face and go. Thank you, Atlanta. It was so much fun.